Good day everyone. Welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. This is Richman speaking, your head designer. In this video tutorial, we are going to be modeling two spiral staircases in Archicad, one concrete and one steel and timber. Before I continue, I would like to encourage you guys to like, comment and subscribe to the channel because I do videos like this every week. Starting with the concrete staircase, I want the column to be 300 millimeters in diameter and the staircase width to be 1.2 meters. Copy and paste to the first floor. Make sure you remove the top offsets. For the staircase itself, I'll be using the stair tool, of course. Under favorites, I will use the concrete stair without finishes. Make sure you have the right layer. Also set the right baseline. Go ahead and click on the outer circle to make the flat terrain. In a circle, make sure your construction method is arc by center point. For me, it doesn't show up on the plan because of my pen set, but I can quickly fix that. In 3D, I can see that I drew the staircase on the first floor. In the settings dialog, set the home story to ground floor and the top and bottom offset to zero. The staircase is not touching the column, so just set the width to 1200 millimeters or 1.2 meters. Go ahead and place the floor slabs. and punch a hole on the first floor slab. Now the only thing to do is draw the balustrades. We are going to be using concrete wall balustrades. To see how I created them, go check the video on the top right hand corner icon right now. Press the spacebar key and the magic wand will find the edge of the staircase. To fix the gap between the steps and the balustrades, we will offset the bottom segment to the appropriate height and use the solid element operation to clean up the overall look. There you have it folks, the concrete staircase is done. Now let's do the steel and timber staircase. Firstly set out your outlines. I would like the central steel column to be 100 millimeters in diameters and the width to be 1.2 meters. On the ground floor, you can place the column, set the structures to steel, copy and paste it on the first floor. Under the favorites defaults, choose the wooden stringer staircase. Make sure you are in the right layer. When you draw your staircase, make sure the construction method is arc by center point so that the staircase runs in an arc. Now 
In 3D, I see the staircase is not touching the central column. To fix this, just set the width to 1.2 meters or 1200 millimeters and remove the top and bottom offset of the staircase. To remove the inside stringer, in the settings dialog under the structure, just untick the stringer left and you will be left with the stringer on the right side only. Now make the right stringer a bit thick as to mount the balustrade on it. Set it to 100 millimeters thick. It looks good in 3D. Now let's place the balustrades. Using the frameless glass railing, I am going to go ahead and remove the inner post by selecting and deleting them. And then I'll keep the baseline fixing. To place the railing, Press the space bar key and the magic wand will find the edge of the staircase. To make sure that the railing is running on top of the stringer, just flip the reference line. You can also raise the height of the railing to a desirable height. I am happy with how both spiral staircases came out. I hope you are too. That's it for me Richmond. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video tutorial. Once again, do like, comment and subscribe to the channel because I do videos like this every week. Love you guys, God bless you and goodbye.